Now, as we have already created a table, if you want to modify the structure of that particular table, you can do that with the alter table command. So basically, here alter table can add a new column in your table or if you want, you can modify any existing column. You can drop any existing column or you can rename any existing column. So these are all the things which can be performed by the alter table. Later, when we will cover the constraints, you will also be able to add or modify the constraints by the alter table command. If you talk about dropping of a column, the column will no longer be a part of the table. But if you want, the structure of the table should not change, but I don't want that particular column to be there in the table, you can also use the set unused option to disable the column of the table. So let's perform all these tasks practically in the system. So once we have created a table, as in the previous video, we have created the employee table having this structure. So after that, if I want to ch make any changes in the structure of this table, I'll have to go for the alter table command because dropping the table will not be a good idea because your table would be carrying some data as well. So let's see how can we go for the alter table. So for that, we'll simply write first of all alter table and then the existing table name. So here the table name is employees and after that you'll have to choose what action you need to take. For example, here I want to add a new column in this particular table. So for adding that I'll use the add keyword and after that the column name. For example, I want to add the date of birth column right here of date type. If you want to pass some default value as well to the particular data type, uh, to the particular column, uh, you can go for the default keyword and after the value which must be of the same data type. So here I'm not taking any default value for the date of birth at least. So let's say enter after semicolon and you can see the table altered. If I'll write the describe uh, command again, you can see the date of birth column is added at the last. You cannot change the order by the time you are adding a new column. The new column will always be added at the last. But it really doesn't matter because by the time you will be retrieving the value, you can choose the order on which you want to get the columns of the data. Now, if using the add keyword, you want to add multiple columns at a time, you can do that as well. In that time, in that case, you just need to uh, pass the parenthesis and after that the name of the column along with the data type and the uh, default value if required. So let's say here I want to add another column called salary and here is the data type, let's say number and here I'll pass the length of the column, 10 comma 2. That means 2 number out of 10 will be decimal and before that you can enter up to 8 digit number. So 10 is the overall size of the number and out of which 2 decimal places will be there. So let's say comma after that, this is the first column salary. After that, let's say any XYZ column, call one of number type I want to add. So you can just form a list like that and as soon as you will say enter, the table will be altered and in the structure, the changes will be there. So as you can see, the DOB and salary uh, and call one, these two, three uh, columns has been added to my employees table. Now, if I want to change the data type of any particular field or the length of any particular field, I can do that also by using the alter table command. So for that alter table employees, again there must be an existing table name uh, which you want to alter and after that uh, whatever you want to do like modify. Initially I went for the add, now it's about modifying. So what you want to modify, for example, if I want to change the data type of field call one from number to var care, so I'll do that, all right, along with passing some size. So basically when you are doing that or any changes in the existing column, you have to make sure like the change is compatible with the data as well. For example, if 
any of your column is having varchar data type and the column is accepting some uh, character values like anadi chitrulus point whatever later you will not be able to convert that as a numeric value right you cannot alter the uh, data type to number because such string values cannot be converted to the numbers similarly if suppose i want to decrease the size of this email id field from 50 to 40 i have to make sure like any particular data which is there in the table is not exceeding 40 characters only then the table will be compatible and the changes will be uh, there so here i can easily convert the number to varchar uh, though i don't have any data but let's see so here you can see table altered and again if i'll run the alt uh, describe employees command i can see right it is something varchar 2 and 10 all right so this is how you can modify any existing field now after that i can go for drop column command for example if i want that dob is something a very uh, personal detail i want to keep the personal details of employees in a separate table the professional de details in some uh, separate table so in that particular scenario let's say i want to remove the salary column from this table and i'll create a separate table for that so what can i do i can simply drop this column so for doing that i'll say alter table employees and after that i'll use a drop keyword and after that you will have to mention the column drop column and then the column name for example i want to drop salary column so it will be dropped as you can see table altered and again if i'll go for the describe employees command you will not be able to find salary column in the list basically whenever you drop a particular column all the data of that particular field is dropped and the memory is released but for example if there is a lot of uh, bulk in your database because of there are number of users are requesting uh, from your database server so in that particular time dropping a column will consume more resources because first of all it will remove the data of that particular column the structure of the table will be deleted uh, will be modified and after that the resources will be released means the memory will be released so overall it will take a much time and it will be a time consuming process which may uh, cause the de degrade in the performance of the server so in that particular time what you can do you can simply use the set unused option for a column for doing that what i'll write is alter table employees set unused column call 1 so as soon as you will execute you can see it is being altered and if i'll go for the describe employees command you will not be finding the call 1 column right here because now it is logically not a part of this particular column but the only difference is the memory is not released and by the time there is less traffic and less requests from uh, for your database server you can drop this unused column or all the unused column which are there in your table by writing alter table employees or whatever the table name is employees drop unused columns all right so you see now it is altered you cannot recover or you cannot get the unused column back to the table's definition you will have to re-add that particular column so uh, this is how you can drop any column you can modify a column and you can add a new column using the alter table command